Hello everyone. So today we're going to learn how to work with a data set using, a, using Desmos. And our objective today is to figure out which model our data set corresponds to. So maybe it's linear, maybe it's quadratic, maybe it's cubic, maybe it's exponential. We don't know, but we will learn how to figure that out. And we will also learn how to graph it on Desmos and how to find the formula. So the very first thing you need to do is you need to open up Desmos Graphing Calculator. And over here you have these uh, boxes where you would typically put the formula in, but we don't have a formula. We don't, we only have a data set. We have a set of X and Y values. So I'm going to go ahead and put those in. So what you need to do is you need to go and hit this plus sign over here. And once we do that, you're going to open up a table. So you put your X values in here, you put your Y values in here. So here are my X values. I'm going to go, okay, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, whatever, whatever data set you have. And over here, I'm going to have like 4.2 maybe 1.9, maybe I'm going to have 0 0.1, and then I'm going to have like, I don't know, 2.1, and maybe 3.9, right? So I have something that looks vaguely triangular, right? And generally speaking, if I were to connect this with lines, it would look like something like a bow, right? Like this, a weird shaped bowl, but a bowl nonetheless. If you get a bowl shape or a hill shape, this is quadratic. So the next question is, well, if this is quadratic, right? Then how do we get the formula for that? This is where you come in over here you go ahead and put in the values in there in a very, very specific way. So our general expression for our quadratic function, right, is um, ax squared plus bx plus c. We can absolutely put that, okay? So we all remember this one, right? ax squared plus bx plus C. So we're going to put this into our formula box, but instead of Y's, we're going to put Y1. Instead of all the X's, we're going to put X1. And instead of the sign, equal sign, we're going to put this symbol. So let me show you how I am going to type it. All right, so Y one right and this is you go y underscore one and then you put the little um the little sign and then i'm gonna go a x one plus b x one plus c And AX1, excuse me, AX1 was supposed to have been squared, okay? There you go. And this is our parabolic, this is our parabola that we would get in this particular case. This is our approximation. This is the model that we would approximate this with. So we would actually get our values. We actually have the equation now. Now, where is the equation? It is hiding right here in these parameters. You take these parameters and put them in. So your equation for this one is 0 0.85, right? I put this value instead of, oh, well, let's make it 86, right? Because this is a seven. And I put this instead of the A, this is X squared minus 0 0.04, just x plus c. So this is how you would do this with the quadratic one. 
Now, what if this equation was an exponential or a linear or really anything? Then you would put the linear equation in there. Now, what do I mean by the linear equation? Very, very straightforward. This is your linear equation. Right? Remember, our general equation of the line is y equals mx plus b, right? You do exactly the same thing. You replace all the values with y1. You replace all the x values with x1. And the equal sign with this m and b or whatever other letters you have will stay the same. So let me demonstrate. Okay, y underscore 1, mx1, plus b. Well, you can see that our linear approximation for this particular data set doesn't work at all, right? If our quadratic approximation has points where, where our points in our data set more or less lie on the actual line, for the linear, this is really not the case, right? There, it's kind of hanging out in the middle. All the points are really far away from it. So it's not this one. So maybe, maybe, maybe it's exponential. Even though in this case, this quadratic is the right answer, right? I can try the exponential one if I really want to. A general form of our exponential equation looks like this. Y equals A times b to the x. And you can put cx in here, but really c generally just changes the base plus a, b, c, a, b plus c. Let's put it this way, right? So I can put this in, okay? The same way I would put everything else, right? y gets replaced by y1, xx gets replaced by x1. So here's what I do, y equals a b to the power of x underscore 1 plus c. And instead of the equal, I have to make sure that this is by 1. And I have this little symbol over here. And here's the exponential function that I am trying to use here. And you can see that uh, it doesn't fit at all either, right? It's obviously the quadratic one that fits the best. So you can do all of these. You can do all of these. And generally speaking, I'm going to include um, this particular graph with this video for you guys to copy and paste those equations if you really need to, to figure out what they are. So the questions that, the question that comes up to people is, well, if this is, um, if this is quadratic, what does an exponential graph look like? So I've gone ahead and I've put a bunch of points of the graph that I think will probably be an exponential. And the first thing you see is that you can't see the graph, right? So we got to zoom out a little bit. Maybe we need to change our zoom a little bit. So what I would do in this case where it's kind of falling straight down, it looks like maybe it's a straight line or maybe not. I think stretching out the zoom makes a lot of sense because my X values go from one to seven. So I'm going to make my X axis go from zero all the way to eight with a step being one, right? And if you look that my highest point is 48, my Y axis is going to go from zero all the way to 50. And I'm going to make my step, um, I don't know, 10, I guess. Right There we go. So now I actually have a graph that is, um, that I have in front of you. And it doesn't look like a line. Okay. In fact, it looks like a slide. 
if your graph looks like a slide like you can hop on top over here and you can slide all the way down this is an exponential okay like for sure okay so if this is an exponential how could it possibly how could it possibly find its equation easy peasy right remember y1 right and then i have the symbol and then i have a b to the x1 plus c and now i can clearly see my slide and what you can also see is that this graph is goes straight through my data set yes yeah, some of the points are a little above some of the points are a little below you know but it's okay most of them i have quite a few points that are straight on the line or almost on it and they're all centered very close to my graph so i know this is my right answer so this is how you would do this so graph them look at them does this look like a ball or a hill then it's quadratic does this look like a slide if it's a slide it's exponential does this look like a line then it's linear super easy and i hope this will definitely help you with your quiz